Welcome guys to this Nomad game. We got a, a bunch of really special guests here. And I, I really enjoyed this mod. I, I've been playing it a lot. And I also been playing a lot of free for all. And I've I'm, I've been having a lot of fun. I, I do things like um, I don't know, betray someone or you know, just things that I wouldn't do in a regular match. So I think this these games have a lot of potential. I, I think these games are really, really like eh, they're like a shit fest, you know? <laughs> they they just anything can happen here. But let's see what we got here. Uh, let's see which map we got. So let's take a look. So what 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 map is this? It doesn't look mega random at all. Like you have a bunch of trees here, but it's open. And inside you have a lot of big gold veins. And in the corners is full of deer. Like I don't know what to expect, but let's start presenting presenting the players in the color of teal playing as the ruse. It's Papi Paw. And we see the color purple playing as the English is Massy Way. The color red playing as the Ottomans. It's <laughs> Ascal Bird. Oh my god, look, look at those monarchs. Like, I, I'm really curious to see, like, it, it's such a nice detail that every monarch has, like, a, you know, different name, you know? Like, for example, the... The English, uh, let's say who's the monarch, is it Richard, the Lionheart. Uh, which is, so uh, they are all very historically accurate. The color ring we have Louis MT playing as the Ottomans. His neighbor, the color orange. Color orange? Let's take a look at orange for now. Where are you? Oh, orange is not moving. Oh my god. Looks like. We will have a monarch heal, heal here. Anyway, um, it's our Chinese friend with a very long name, which I cannot read most of it. Then, in the color blue, playing as the Chinese, the favorite civilization for free for all, is TRTMC23. Look at that. He has the nest of bees here. Uh, truly Chinese lover. In the color yellow, playing. As the Byzantines, it's Fitz Bro, and he's scouting with a uh, John the Third. <laughs> oh my God! And in the color pink, playing as the English is Isaac Morcombe. Welcome everybody. Things are going to start getting a little bit messy here. Oh my God! It's like. I think I already lost the scout. Yellow. Let, let's take a look at the spot, the spawns, because this kind of a spawns can be really good or really bad. Fit Pro, not bad at all. He's in the corner. He still has plenty of food here. So I think he's fine. I don't think Chinese has a very good spawn. Like, he has the gold next to you, but you don't really want to protect the gold like that. Like, you want to use a tax for it. Still have some resources nearby, so... I... Look at pink. This is one of the things I've seen, like, doing English a lot. And that is... Basically, putting those farms very early on. Because at the beginning in Nomad, like, it takes some time to get the scout out. It's not like the normal games where you start with the scout. You need to create one. And it really will depend on not only your spawn, the amount of sheep that you get, but also how fast you put on that TC. So if your opponent, like next to you, wants to, uh, you know, already put the TC and already scout all the ships around you, and then you just go for a scout, and then suddenly you don't find any food, then you're in a trouble. So I really like the English in, in Nomads, actually. I really like the English. I'm already aging up with the Golden Gate. This is a landmark we have seen very often in free-for-alls. Like, it makes sense. You don't need the Kremlin very early on. Like, especially when you're in a spawn like this. Let's take a look at Papi Paz. He, he must be very happy with his spawn. It's like, look at all this 
real estate available for me like all those resources no one is contesting them here on the east it's gonna be a little bit chaotic it's a little bit like you have red very close to green very close to orange very close to purple actually orange is already afk looks like we hit we see this the first guys we see the first imprison <laughs> pr prisoner <laughs> like red is gonna get it and looks like green knows about it and he will try to snipe he can try to pull everyone at the moment and actually he's he's using the spearman to try to kill the managed to kill the scout most likely will kill the villagers here but if the spearman goes down the villagers are free to kill the monarch and i don't know if someone else also knows it blue just you know killing deer to deny the rules but i think that's a little bit useless here just because the rules has so much so much food available so much food available at the monarch it's it's Richard the Lionheart, it's gonna be trapped. I guess Richard, it's not gonna leave another day. It's gonna take some time. Unless you have some contestants here. There you go. A couple of spearmen here trying to take down Richard. Richard, come on, guy. Is it gonna do like a snipe? Like three spearmen for green. You just need to, you know, kill steel. Just kill steel. Actually, Richard fighting back. Richard fighting back. Who will get the last kill? Looks like it's gonna be green. It's gonna be green. And orange goes down. And green having a really good start with last 50 population. The good thing about this is that all your landmarks are also destroyed. Which is really cool. After you, you lose. I don't know, that, that's the surrender of that's also if they kill your monarch. I haven't seen this landmark in the in a long time. I think it's beautiful. Beautiful design here. Really beautiful. Like what it does is basically it acts like a market, and you can see how uh, Puppy Pop is trading resources for it. Like you, you can check like you actually exchange for a favorable rate. So normally you exchange gold. And it starts with, okay, 100 gold, 100 wood. And as more people buy, you get like 100 gold. And, you know, equals to, I don't know, 60 wood or 20 wood. Or that's what we call inflation, right? Uh, and with this one, you, you get actually a much more favorable rate. Like any kind of 100 gold means 150 for each resource. So you're actually getting more resources. And it's such a such a good lamar. You can actually sell those for extra gold as well. Like you can sell wood for extra gold. It's just so nice, so nice. I already see Papi Pop most likely going for the boar around here. Is there a boar? There's so many so many villagers around here. Red, just chilling out, you know. Green, already. Ashap had a little bit of a of a delay, but it, it it should be worth it. It should be worth it. Like having the monarch down is such a good thing for you. The question is, these guys are they planning to fight very soon, or are they playing the long game? Like China, they uh, oh my god, this this one is horrible. But but China has like the motivation to stay in the late game, of course. Looks so like Fitzbro will go for a second down center here on the corner. Just right next to the deer. Beautiful spot, like next to the deer, next to the gold. He's having the time of his life here. Purple looks like... Purple is booming. Oh, we can actually... Oh my god, look at those arms. Oh my god. That's uh That's pretty cool. And Papi Paul reaches the castle age. Looks like it's gonna be the high trade house. 142 trees, guys. Oh my god. 
This is huge. This is really huge. Still with professional scouts getting all that deer from the map back to his back to his place. It's gonna be super safe. Purple. Most likely gonna gonna scout Papi Pa. More farms coming for Purple. Must be feel good about the English. Like you can go farms early and nobody will kill you. If you're lucky. And especially at the English, like you don't really want to deep dive into the town center because they, they just have the network of citadels, their villagers attack with bows, and the town center have an extra attack for for each bow. So they, they, they are really they really give a lot of damage. Especially at the beginning. Starting to see some walls mark some territories, just like the dogs. It's like, hey, hey, dude, like, stay out of there. Like, you have your neighbor here. Uh, looks like the, oh my god, the Ottomans. The Ottomans are going out for blood. Take a look at Louis, what's his plan? Scout going away just to check the neighbors. Looks like Louis will find red at threat. Most likely. And at the beginning, because Red also tried to contest the monarch here in the south. And usually when you have this kind of interactions, you already mark your opponent. Like, okay, like if that's how it's gonna be, then Red, you're going down next. Like wh whenever you have a rough star, you have like a personal vendetta to that to that guy that you know wanted to you know screw you in some way and that that's that's really good that's really good because these guys are just gonna fight very soon blacksmith already going out uh, but looks like uh, our ottoman friend is gonna go for the mii who's gonna go for really fast castle it looks like louis will we'll go for a right here Managed to get one villager, but looks like uh, inside those two TCs he decides, you know what, actually it doesn't worth it, let's let's go back guys. He, he didn't have the plus one range armor, that, that could be a really good one. But I, I think that as soon as he sees red like aging up, Louis is gonna go for it. Let's take a look at what's what's happening on with orange, uh, sorry yellow, yellow is chilling, our golden horn tower, lombos, olive oil. Living the time of his life, Chinese also castle age. We're gonna get those palace guards out. I would love to see a landmark that I usually see in ranked that I wouldn't want to see here very often is the astronomical clock tower. Like in 1v1, knowing the location of all the villagers is huge. If you go for the imperial palace instead of of the astronomical clock tower it's just gonna be huge it looks like the the raids already starting here a couple of imams gather there looks like the base here point for our ottoman friend was just getting those imams and now a couple of barracks here gonna get those man at arms out but there's these are a lot of sipagi like you really need a lot of spearmen it's like he will torch down the town center just gonna be careful here not too loose against that Magonel. More and more units coming for Louis at this point. He just needs. Okay, I need to go. I need to go get red. I really need to go get red. Meanwhile, purple. Determining his territory, what's yours and what's his in. Uh, that's very English, actually. It's like Louis will manage to get the kill here Magonel going out in less than one minute so looks like Louis will will find this this kill for sure and he's already sitting with 300 population so should be in a very very good position here he only needs to torch down this one and the man at arms come to save the day but the town center is already 1000 HP, more units coming into Louis' 
he has a plus one range armor, so they're gonna be uh, way a, a lot tankier. Another town center goes down, and the monarch it's available for Louis. Let's see if he managed to escape with the monarch. Guys, will must be like get out of here, peasants. And looks like he's going for the outpost here, and the Magonel also goes out. Gotta be careful with that Magonel shot. Oh my god, that, that hurt. Like everyone, take down the Magonel. Villager is going to repair the Magonel. But not enough time. Looks like this monarch may potentially go down at the same time. Purple attacking green. But green just needs to kill that dude. And looks like he's gonna get it. Green gets another kill having 300 population. Purple is just like, okay, I'm just gonna go full mana at arms here. And green, despite having 300 population, is a benefit that he cannot really enjoy at the moment. Let's take a look at his population. It's 110, so like you, you really enjoy those benefits later in the game where you have more villagers and more military. And now you have a problem where the English is trying to kill you, and they're just sending mana at arms here. Let's take a look at Poppy Paws. Just sending oh my god, those hunting timings. How much how much gold per, per minute this, this guy has? 1.3k gold per minute. Gonna be having a great time having those wood cabins here. Okay, Surely he's, only, he's already in H4. What is this? Warrior monks. That's a lot of warrior monks. I'm talking about sacred sites. I don't see any sacred sites in the map. It's like he just needs a lot of warrior monks to get those relics. Most likely he got a bunch of those. Top three relics. Trying, try, trying to survive here. The purple. At the same time. Papi Pa. Alerting the enemy. Purple just walling all the map. Chinese just, you know, working non stuff. This is a very interesting layout. This is a very interesting layout. What happened to Feet, bro? Oh my god. I didn't notice. Who was it? I didn't know what, what, what happened to Fitz, bro. That's the problem of this observer mode. I don't really have notification of everything that can happen. If I focus too much on one side, like, I, I will have a problem with... Oh my god, Bololo. Oh, that should hurt. That should hurt. It looks like he's just gonna use the villagers to... Betray his commanders. I don't see any sacred site here. I don't know why, but I don't see any. Looks like green surviving so far. Never mind, green is not surviving. Green is on the run. Mr. Osman the first is trying to run for his life. Purple squad is trying to see where is Mr. Osman. Are you gonna get Mr. Osman here? I don't I don't think Mr. Osman Osman has very good chances of leaving. <laughs> but Louis have been a really good job at hiding it for sure. At this point you can just grab one of your monarch, which I believe. Where, where is the monarch for Oh it, it is here. It is outside. Yeah, he went out to check the location. Most likely. So let's take a look. Yeah, he, he knows. He knows where he is. He knows where he is. And now he's going to send a couple of horsemen to deal with that. At the same time, Louis, despite having 300 population, he's going to get wrecked by purple. Meanwhile, pink just chilling out. Only one farm transition. I mean, the stone walls. Uh, that's something I see a lot in these free-for-all games. It's like, I need stone walls. I don't want to go out. I'm so scared. And you know, having these stone walls in free for all, it makes you feel super safe. Knights are already out on the field. But more and more units coming for purple. And looks like purple will find the monarch. Never mind. The monarch managed to run away. And how does Louis get gets out of this one? 
Like, he's still in fetal age. His economy, it's getting... Let's, let's take a look at how much, how many villagers he has. Only economic 70. So, let's take a look at the income per minute. Look at Papi Pa. Just having so much income at the moment. So much gold. Looks like Louis is going for a counter attack here. But looks like he won't find the monarch. I guess his only chance is like, okay, I need to snipe the monarch, otherwise I will die. Or maybe he's just trying to delay the economy. The monarch goes down for Louis and now it's just purple, pink, and teal. Teal with elite knights and warrior monks. What a combination. What a combo. I don't think purple is gonna survive this. A bunch of scouts too. Everyone going here. I believe Teal still with 200, 200, maximum 200 population, but that's, so that's an issue. Your opponent has 250, so let's take a look at Massive way. Not really using his population to its best potential. And now he's going to get all the knights. Luckily for him, he has a lot of spearmen, but these are elite knights. They have biology, they have all the upgrades. I don't think they're gonna go down anytime soon. Villagers just trying to finish the task. Another town center here. Every all the town centers attacking non-stop and just Papi Po sending more and more knights. How how many let's take a look at how many stables he has. Has 13 stables. And you know that's usually the thing that Like in this kind of games where the map is so big, you must have cavalry. You need to have cavalry, otherwise you just take so long to attack. And it just gives you the best budget for the population, right? Hey, it's just the knight is such a good unit that when you have max population, it makes sense to be everyone knights. It looks like it's gonna it's gonna find the monarch here. Sending more and more units. I think pink is uh, pink is pretty much dead. As soon as I don't, I don't think purple can get away with this. Let's take a look at his military. Only four military. There's no way he can get away with this. These are too many, too many cavalry units. But pink, pink has something that Papi Paul doesn't have yet. He has stone walls, and with stone walls, cavalry we com will come here, and basically won't be able to get inside. And the good thing is that Papi Bar already have more population, so most likely he will go for some siege as soon as he sees the walls. And that's the problem of going full cavalry. You need to find an opponent that doesn't have stone walls. Otherwise, uh, you, you are in an awkward situation where your max population. Take a look at his population. Oh, 206. Where well, you're at max population, and then you cannot create siege. The question is, will the cavalry arrive on time to kill Pink? Units coming from for both sides. Does he know about Pink? I think he has a suspicion of where he could be, but... Or maybe he just used the Monarch skill. Look at that. Oh, he, know, he knows where he is. He knows where he is. A like, couple of Bombards here gonna make it really easy for him. Pink is just like, you know, I love this farming simulation. Like, look at my villagers. They're just working. Income is going great. Let's take a look at Pink. Income... Oh. Look at how much wood we have saved. We're gonna put it in the bank to get some investment back. Back. And then it's like, oh my god. What happened here? Suddenly Ping realized this was not farm bill. This is the moment he won't be the same after this. Pink, it's just gonna 
he's just gonna be that one of those players who plays extremely aggressively. Actually, if you put the, the Monarch here on top, you're kind of safe, unless, until the Bombard comes. Pink just says, I'm not dying today. I ain't dying. I'm gonna move everyone here. Crossbow numbers for Pink. Melted. Wait, how, how, how blue that? How did blue and um, yellow die, but pink still alive? That's the question. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. It looks like Papi Pot doesn't know where is the monarch. Most likely he will use the skill. Looks like he already... He did, he, did, he know, did he know about it? I don't know if we know, but probably he, he does. Like, he's, he's going there. Actually, if you kill the Lamars, you actually win the game. So you don't really need to kill the Monarch. Just kill this sound center. And that's it. Are people the winner in this free for all fiestas here? Hopefully, you're enjoying this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.